What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? It's Rain Bean, and I'm so excited. We got this trade that I've been working on with a fellow member of the Discord server, Blue Docs, who is an awesome person. And we've been working for a long time to get this trade figured out. Inside this package is some quality stuff, as you're going to see. And you may be asking yourself, how do I know if I can trust people when I when it comes to trades? How do they work? What's the best way to go about it? I figured we could talk about some tips and tricks when it comes to trading so you can feel a little bit more safe and secure amongst uh, you know the trades that you do with other people. So without further ado, I'm so excited to open this. Sit back and relax. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so like I said, I got this package straight from the Discord server. If you aren't a member already, my god, we got so many people there. Now, I'll leave a link to it in the description, as well as a pinned comment. It's a great place for trades if you want to buy or sell or trade, whatever it may be. It's the place to do it. Plus, you can reach out to me if you have any questions. It's an awesome retro community. We got a lot of resellers there if you've ever had any questions on selling on eBay or Amazon, whatever that may be. Uh, but that's where this came from, and like I said, this was from a buddy of mine, Blue Dogs. He is a very well-respected member of the server. And extreme feedback he's well past the gold star system the way it works on my server is there's a feedback system uh, you got one through five uh, six through ten then you got 15 and plus you got your basic tiers of bronze silver and then gold um, and that way if you have any successful trades you get a feedback if you have any problems you lose it we've never had any problems never issues and our feedback system is actually working out really well it's a great way for people who aren't really sure if they should trust someone or if they you know depending on if something's worth hundreds, uh, which you know this this package entails can be, um, it gives you a little bit more peace of mind. That's not the same for all Discord servers or Facebook groups. They all do have some sort of feedback system. You know, they have like a respected sellers list or traders, whatever that may be. And whatever group you're on, ask that question. Be like, how do I know I can trust this person? Um, at least if they don't have a feedback system, someone else can vouch for them and you can go by that. All right, guys, I know you're waiting for it. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm ready to open this thing up. Let's do it. I got, I got my, uh, my trusty razor blade here. Let's go ahead and open this, this bad boy. You see, I always scratch my face with the razor. I know people have said something like, you're going to, you're going to slice an eye. Well, when I do, I can at least say it was for the good of the cause because, oh my goodness, I'm, oh, I'm excited. Oh, uh, here we go. And he received his trade already. I saw it. it. This is a person, like I said, I trust completely. Um, when it comes to a trade, who do you, who sends first, that sort of thing. I will say if it's, if it's someone that you are willing to take a chance with, that they don't have a feedback system, they need to send first. You need to get tracking. You need to get all that. If they don't have tracking, they haven't sent first. I, it's, it's risky. This person, obviously, I had no issues with. I mean, I actually, I think, I think I printed tracking before he did. Hell, I can't remember, honestly. Oh, my God. Here we go, guys. Oh, this trade. This trade is good. All right, I don't, I'm just going to start pulling off, pulling out things individually here and try to save the, the, the big, big cojone for last here. All right, first up, everything's all well packaged. When it comes to a respected uh, seller or trader, they know what they're doing. They're not going to stick it in, you know, a, a poly bag and, and call it quits. Power Golf for the Turbo. Graphic 60. My God, I'm adding games to that collection. Um, and it may not necessarily be the best game. Uh, but believe it or not, I love golf games. And this is one uh, I'll be trying, that's for sure. Oh, my God, Turbo Graphics. That, that's always good. All right, next up, what do we got here? Because a lot of this, I can't even remember. My memory is so terrible. So many people know that my memory is, is, is I don't know what the hell we're talking about. But, y'all, here we go. And when it comes to a trade, you know, you got to ask yourself, like, well, how do you trade? What is it? Value for value? Do you just, are you happy with what you get? And yes and no. Some people are happy with just trading a $50 game for a $20 game. It's rare when it happens. And, and I don't really feel that's how it should be. I think it should be value for value. Um, you know, when it comes to sold listings or price charting or what's available, if there are no listings, you know, versus eBay listings, um, that's never going to be perfect. You're never going to end up with a solid hundred dollar hundred dollar trade there's going to be some discrepancy there maybe five ten bucks maybe even more whatever you're happy with uh but don't try to short in the person and hopefully they won't do it to you all right next up sega dreamcast iron aces um, i'm not the biggest flight person when it comes to that type of game but when it comes to anything Sega, i'm trying to collect for i'll definitely be giving this a shot it's one that i didn't have 
I don't come across Sega that often. All right, next up in this bag of goodies is a Virtual Fighter 3 TV. I'm so happy to add anything to the Dreamcast collection. Like I said, it's rare on this side of the country when I find anything Dreamcast. So to be able to trade for it sometimes is your best way of getting things that you want. Thus, since Turbo Graphics games, and as you're going to see, other crazy stuff in here. Uh, so this is definitely one I'm going to check out. I remember when Virtual Boy, not Virtual Boy, but Virtual Fighter games uh, were coming out. They were so clunky. They weren't necessarily the best, and uh, but now... As they, you know, as the iterations moved on, uh, they got they got a lot better. I'm definitely going to give this a try and see what that one's about. All right, moving on down into this package, I just keep pulling out good stuff, man. Oh, this is this is this is good. All right, next up, if I can unravel it, everything's bubble wrapped so nicely, and I love that because I'm going to reuse the hell out of that bubble wrap. All right, here we go, Soul Fighter for the Sega Dreamcast. Oh my god, this is this is a, again a game I have not played, haven't come across, and I'm oh man, my night's gonna be filled. Oh, that thing is like near mint condition. My god, this is this one looks interesting. Decent cover art on that, too. Not bad at all. Uh, an evil curse has fallen on the kingdom of Gomar as a mysterious mist envelops the kingdom. The inhabitants turn into vicious creatures, son of a gun. Uh, we're gonna have to handle that. Very interesting. All right, moving on. And I already see the, I already see the, 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 man, oh god, this is, this is one that I've wanted, I've heard nothing but good things about this, and I'm not the biggest pinball person, you know, I, you know, I like some pinball games, you know, I like the real pinball, you know, going to arcade, but on, on the games, it's a little different, the excitement's just not as much there for me as it is if you're on the actual system, you got all the bells and whistles going, uh, but this one, I had, I had to get, and this is, are you ready for it, oh my goodness, Alien Crush. I've heard nothing but good things about this, and this is again my night is playing. I'm gonna have to get some beer. Uh, tell the wife I've, I've gone missing, lock the door, and and oh my god, my whole night is planned. <laughs> I'm so excited about this Alien Crush for the Turbo Graphics 16. Guys, I'm actually developing a very good Turbo Graphics collection. I'm so excited about that. All right, moving on down. This is when we get into some interesting stuff here. It's all been interesting, but we're getting into some good stuff here. All right, I actually, for the 32X, I never really thought about going for inboxing. But there's, there's a, well, how many uh, 32X games are there? 30-something? I have no idea. Uh, it's not a big collection, but I might as well get a few of the boxes that I don't have. I'm obviously not going to get one of the Shadow, the, the Web, or something. I'm not going to go for that. I don't, it's, it's, it's no big deal. Uh, but this is an interesting one. Speaking of Virtual Fighter, we got the, the Virtual Fighter box, and I believe the, yeah, the manual's in there. No game, because I already have it. This is just something... That I, I, you know, he said, what are you looking for? He showed me his picture as a trade. I was like, how about that box and manual? So we added this on. So that's cool to have. Uh, after this trade, let me show you some more here. Oh, uh, here we go. Check this out. This one is complete. This is one that I did not have. And having recently gotten into the series, I know a lot of people are going to like, how are you going to recently get into a series like this? I'm going to explain. But this is Star Wars Arcade for the 32X. Should be complete. Yeah, manual, cart all that looking good um i was never the biggest star wars fan i had nothing against it i saw the trilogy like you like everybody else but i think my issue was i saw it when i was really young um yeah i couldn't really understand much of it i don't know how old i was when i first saw it maybe you know like eight or ten something like that and i just never really watched it and then i watched uh you know uh, the, the the one with jaja beans what was that um uh the the, the razor the pod racer one you know and i was like well, what i was like this eh, it's not for me uh, recently, however, I was like, you know what, I need to give this another shot. So I watched them all, not in the order of when they came out, but I watched them in the, you know, the George Lucas order, you know, starting with, um, all the way back with Anakin Skywalker, you know, all the way back to that one, and going all the way up to now, and oh God, I've gotten so, uh, into the series, you know, not to mention The Mandalorian, The Mandalorian's a fantastic series, um, hopefully it, it, it does something more than, you know, just advertise, you know, Baby Yoda merch, but... I'm getting into the Star Wars universe now that I can actually understand it and follow it a lot better. Hopefully that makes sense and maybe a lot of people out there can understand what I'm talking about. I know some people who grew up with Star Wars when it came out uh, and then that's just all they had shoved in their face, you know, as they're a kid. It wasn't that way for me, so, but now I'm getting into this, this series, so this is going to be a game I'm definitely going to check out. Why couldn't I even remember that damn, st I don't know, my, my mind actually, but it's like, what, three in the morning, I just woke up. Uh, my mind, my mind's a little foggy. All right, here we go. This is a this is a good one. I was happy to add this one to the collection. Everybody knows that system back behind me. 
the N64 set. Definitely going for it. This is not a game, but this is a box and manual that I have just I have not found. And it's one that I wanted. Super Smash Brothers. The box is a little beat up, but honestly, this, Blue Dogs, he cared more about condition than I did. You know, obviously, condition does mean something. If it's ripped and torn all to hell, that's going to make a big difference. A little bit of crush damage or wear never bothers me. Um, you know, I know some people, you know, like even with the manual a little bit, they, they'd be like, man, you're going to have to do something with that manual. It's all terrible. It doesn't bother me at all. I'll put this into the actual, uh, the, the plastic protector. It'll look nice and shiny on the shelf. And I'm very happy to finally add this. So I have this game complete now, finally for the N64. All right, guys, I'm, I'm holding it in my hand. This is, all that stuff is great. You know, that's, that's a lot of good stuff. This terrible game. But I, you know, I have to have this. This is something that in my collecting goals, I will finish. And from this day on, I'm only missing one game. Actually, I will say, you know, uh, there, there's one like spinoff game that I'm missing, but it's not, it's like a $15 game. It's nothing. Um, this is the last game. Uh, or there, there, there's one more game after this. that will be the last one that I need. I'm, I'm holding it in my hands, guys. Are you ready for it? The Legend of Zelda. The Wand of Gamelon. Oh my god. I got it, guys. I got this freaking game now. Let's check this out. Nice case. Everything looks good. Uh, Lord. I am I am a huge Zelda fan. Everybody knows that. I got a shrine dedicated to the damn series. And I it's 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 my all-time favorite series. Anything Zelda... That, oh, yeah. The disc looks good. A few light surface scratches, if any. But, my God. That looks, in, that looks incredible. Oh my goodness! Oh uh, man! Mm -mm. Now keep in mind, I, I I I didn't. It ain't like I traded him a box full of Wii shovelware. Now I had to trade him some good stuff, and it took us a while to come up with this trade. And we actually had plans to trade for a Neo Geo AES console. Everybody knows I've been after that, but I just I couldn't come up with enough trade for it. And you know I started getting to think like, man, I would love a Neo Geo. Obviously everybody would, uh, but man, that's just an investment. I don't think I can make. And, you know if you're spending you know, hundreds of dollars on a game, a game, you know, for like basic games. I know there's cheaper games out there, but your common library. I used to think Turbo Graphics was the cocaine of collecting, uh, but, you know, Neo Geo. My God, you could look at this, guys. I'm still holding it in my hands. When the King, uh, oh my God, if I can pronounce this. If you don't know, uh, th this is not official Nintendo. They they did license the ability to for Philips to make a, uh, a set you have uh, the, the one that I have, the Faces of Evil, the Wand of Gamelon, and the big heavy hitter, which I just, I doubt I'm going to get. But it's it's a goal that I'm going for, and that is Zelda's Adventure. And that game is, that game's stupid expensive. Um, but it's apparently the best in the set. You know, you, you couple that with it being the best version, or the, the best game for the CDI Zelda-wise, it being rare as hell, and it also being Zelda. You couple all that together, it just means the price is stupid, which it is. The prices for all these Zelda games are, they're, they're not pretty, but I'm going for that set and I will have it. I will say in my life, hopefully that I have a complete Zelda set, um, until, you know, some new game comes out. Uh, my God, when the King, uh, Harken, Harkoninian vanishes on a mission to save Gamelon, Link takes off the, uh, Link takes off the rescue him. I ain't going to lie to you. That's exactly what it says. That's some dumb sh mm. uh, Link takes off the rescue him. Not to the, I didn't even notice that. Wow. But soon Link is also missing and Zelda must free them both from their evil captors. Hmm. I swear that's an error. But Philip CDI guys, if you haven't played it, I don't recommend it. It's not the best system. I happen to have, I bought a complete, not a complete collection, but a huge collection from somebody. And I got it for the Zelda games specifically. I don't want to have a game that I don't have the system to play for. And that's why I'm going to, so even if I get rid of all of my CDI games, I have to keep the Zelda ones to play. And there, it's Zelda. It may not be official Zelda, but it's Zelda. But anyways, guys, that is it. I'm, I'm excited. I, my whole night's going to be playing with this. I promise you. Blue Dogs, a very special thanks to you for being an awesome member of the Discord server. And like I said to everybody else out there, if you want to be a part of this, it's it's crazy how many people we've got there. It's absolutely insane. I think we're, what, 13, 1,400 people. Um, extremely active. I see a lot of other Discord servers not as active. A lot of Facebook groups not as active. Um, we have rules. We have set 
uh, terms. You know, if you're selling something, you're not allowed to charge eBay prices. That's how we roll. We like to uh, give people deals, and people give deals all the time, and trades are always happening. So I'll leave a link to that in the description as well as a pinned comment. But to everybody out in this wonderful world, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.